In 1942, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers started building what is the greatest model ever made. So in 1927, uh, America suffered what Herbert Hoover called the greatest uh, peacetime calamity in the country's history, Great Mississippi Flood. It flooded seven states, a half a million people were displaced, uh, and it cost the country a third of their entire federal budget at the time. But mainly it was just terrible. And so the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers did what they do. Up and down the Mississippi, they built levees. Everyone was like, cool, no more flooding, we tamed nature. And then in 1937, it flooded again. Because every time they built a levee somewhere, that area wouldn't flood, but like a town just a few miles down would be destroyed. They didn't understand how the river really work. Corporal Eugene Raybould. This guy had a genius idea. He was like, why don't we model it? And what this meant was literally, why don't we build a gigantic model of it? So the notion was, let's make a scale model, a tiny version of the entire Mississippi River Basin. The scale of this model is, is amazing. It meant building a model of 40% of the entire US, eight miles of tiny streams. It's so big, you can't see it except from a plane or a helicopter, because it's spread out over 200 acres. The whole thing was a hydraulic model, so they could just pull a lever and run through an entire flood and let them put up little levees and figure out, okay, if we put a levee here, uh, what happens down the river. They used it to, to stop a flood in Omaha and save $65 million. At the time, it was also a wonder. People came to, to visit it. They came to stride like giants across the landscape. The Army Corps of Engineers went to the trouble of building little buildings and, and making sure all the towns had names. And, and so it was and it, kind of this incredible experience and families would come to stride across the land. You could walk from the south to the Midwest in five minutes. Six years after they finished it, they were done. The last test using the Mississippi River model was run. They didn't need it anymore. They left it. They just walked away, basically. And then they gave it to the city of Jackson, Mississippi, uh, and they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't have any money. So they've literally just left it rotting in the middle of the park where it is today. The Army Corps of Engineers you know, set out to build this model, but they also made this kind of beautiful sculpture. So today, the tiny little banks of the Mississippi are slowly being overgrown with actual foliage. Click here to subscribe, or click here to watch our other videos. And it's just, it's awesome. It's so cool. It's like, it's like an engineer's Disneyland. If you're ever in Jackson, it's the thing to do. People have their little RC car competitions there, and uh, it's great. I'll, I'll link to one of those RC car videos at the end of this video. Here, look at, I don't know. Here, look at this RC car video.